warm greetings to everyone dear children we are going to study the concepts of english grammar so take out your step up english grammar and composition book active and passive voice so let's begin with this chapter students before starting up with the chapter i would like to in give the introduction of voice that what is voice and what are verbs as we all already know that verbs are the action words and voice voice is a form of a verb that takes to indicate whether the subject of the verb performs the action or it receives the action so the voice is our of two types one is your active voice and second is your passive voice so children when we talk about the active voice so when we describe the situation and actions will tell from the perspective of a person or the object that acts it is often correct to use active voice verbs the most important feature of active voice sentences are that they reflect a clearer harder and stronger meaning to the reader means the direct statements of a situation is always considered under your active voice but on the another hand if we talk about the passive voice so passive voice is used in the sentence in which the object affected by the action or the situation becomes the subject so in the passive voice is used in a sentence in which the object affected by the action or the situation becomes the subject so means when we receives an action performed by the subject then we consider those situations under the passive voice let's begin uh, let's understand this with the another form the question which come up in my mind children when i am performing this active and passive voice chapter is that mom when to use passive voice so children in general the passive voice is less direct and less forceful and less concise than the active voice so means basically when we have to do any indirect talk there we use our passive voice now another situations are when we do not no or do not want to reveal the performer of an action means when the subject is hidden there we use passive voice and the next situation is when we want to emphasize the receivers of an action means when we have to be more focused on the subject then we use passive voice example my bicycle was repainted by john so here means i have to be more emphasized on john that my bicycle was repainted by whom by john now the deliberate passive voice is my bicycle was repainted here the performer is missing so we don't want to disclose our subject so this also can consider under your passive voice situation students the form of the passive voice verbs the passive voice requires a double verb and will always consist of a form of the verb to be and the past participle of another verb past participle means the third form of the verb students mark this point in your mind that we always use verb third form in the whole active and passive session no first form no second form no ing form should be used in your conversion of sentences from active to passive let's understand this with example this example is visible on your screen the active voice john baked the bread so here what is a verb bake and it's already in the past form so how to transform it from active to passive the bread was baked by john so always we three is use okay and why we use was because our question is already in the simple present tense students active passive are called your transformation situations not conversion because here we transform them we cannot convert them if our question is given in any tense 
so we transform that tense instead of doing any conversion of the tense so let's understand this more writers should be familiar with the forms to be often called linking verbs so that they can easily identify the passive voice in their verb is mr was were these are the forms of the to be note the forms of to be in the examples of the verb to kick in various forms of passive voice is kick had been kick was kick is going to be kick is being kick will be kick has been kicked can be kicked was being kicked should be kicked often passive voice sentences will contain a by phrase indicating who or what performed the action passive sentences can be easily transformed into the active sentences when the object of the preposition by is moved to the subject position in the sentence so in this chart children we understand that what is the structure and which forms we do need to change while conversion our sentence from active to passive here in the simple present here children in the simple present what we are having this is the structure of the active is they begin with the subject then v1 or any till v5 plus object so when we are transforming it then the object takes the place of a subject and subject takes the place of a object and v1 is used along with the auxiliary verb and in the simple present what auxiliary verb should be used is am r is there okay and we use by before the subject for example ram eats rice so rice is eaten by ram again in the continuous the auxiliary verbs which we use is is am r plus being we use being instead of ing but v3 should be there v3 remains the v3 in all the transformation children just notice this thing that v3 remains the v3 there is no other v is there so the children the auxiliary verbs are is am r plus being why we use being because it indicates that our sentence is in the continuous motion so he is helping me i am being helped by him next we are having the perfect tense the auxiliary verbs which we use is has or have along with been been indicates our perfect tense so she has eaten rice rice has been eaten by her so these are the structures of your active and passive voice that in your continuous you use being in your perfect you use been b double e n so don't get confused okay so next we are having the simple future structure in the simple future structure children the auxiliary verb will or shall is used along with be b e b e hum log lagate hain isme so how we transform it she will read book book will be read by her so here always v3 is used so similarly with the perfect thing we use been along with have so this is the structure i hope that the structure is clear to you all so here we are having few basic rules of active and passive she was singing a song so she is your subject was is your verb singing is your tense song is your object so when we transform the sentence from active to passive then subject takes the place of a object and object takes the place of a subject along with the auxiliary verb is used plus v3 is there now this question is on the continuous tense so i already told you for the continuous tense we have to use being so here a song was being sung by her now it's time for practice change the sentences below to the active voice so basically these sentences are given in your passive form and you have to change it into the active form the statue is being visited by hundred of tourists every year my books were stolen by someone yesterday these books had been left in the classroom by a careless student Coffee is raised in many parts of Hawaii by plantation workers. The house had been broken into by someone while the owners were on 
vacations. So students, it's very simple. I hope you everyone can able to do it. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I hope this video is very beneficial for you all and you and this video will help you in clearing your doubts of active and passive voice.